In a recent survey carried out, the biggest regret of people getting married was that they invited a load of people they didn't really want to their special day. Don't take that risk. Surround yourself with people who you want to be at your big day and we'll show you how. I'm Lorna Rees and I'm the founder of My Oh My Weddings and I'll share with you five do's and don'ts of how to get the best out of the guests at your big day. Tip number one, invite who you want to invite. I know that mums and dads and other family members might have something to say about it, but ultimately it's your day. These are the people that are going to celebrate your love and you as a couple. Just because so-and-so's uncle's cousin's sister wants to come to the day doesn't necessarily mean they get an invite. People understand that weddings are expensive and you can't invite absolutely everybody. People will understand if you can't invite them to your day. Surround yourself with those who you love the most. Tip number two, get your guests involved. Give them jobs to do. There's nothing better than having a few extra hands on the day to make the load a little bit lighter. Want your guest book filling in? Ask someone to take it round and get people to sign it. Want some people to hand out confetti or order of service? Most guests are more than happy to help and actually would be honored to be asked. So don't be afraid, you don't have to do it all yourself. Get your guests involved at extra hands on your big day. Tip number three, don't give too many food options. In this day and age where there are lots of different dietary requirements, yes, allergies are a big concern. Also, eating preferences are a big deal. Do the best you can, cater for allergies where you can, but don't offer too big a menu choice. The more choices you offer, the more expensive your dining tends to become, and sometimes you can lose a little bit of the quality and the flair, and the drama of the eating experience. When everybody on the table is presented the same meal, it can look quite spectacular. Try and keep your menu refined and make it what you want to eat on your big day. Yes, cater for allergies and ask people if they do have any allergies and preferences and maybe give those people an option. Keep it refined, keep it bespoke and keep it to what you want it to be. Tip number four, do limit the alcohol until a little bit later in the day perhaps. It's really important that everybody remembers your day. You're spending a lot of money to share it with people. And yes, alcohol can be really good fun and it's great for loosening those dancing limbs. But make sure you control the amount of alcohol available. Most couples will choose not to sh serve shots or doubles at the bar until much later on. Usually half a bottle of wine at dinner is sufficient per person and that's generally what venues will offer you as part of the package. By all means you can order more, um, especially if you've got very big groups at each table. Um, but try and limit it until after the speeches. Just make sure that you don't get too many drunken faces in those photos early on, especially sharing your meal with you. And tip number five, people love information. So organizing your guests will save you a lot of time and a lot of answering questions, phone calls and emails in the run up to your wedding. Think about creating a wedding rep website. And if you have a planner, most will create these for you. Here you can put all of the information about the venue, about places to stay nearby, about transport information, um, and giving your guests as much information as possible will only help. It's also great to give your guests uh, an idea of what's going to happen on your day, either an order of service or if you want to save the planet and save those trees, a nice big board outside the ceremony room just letting guests know when reception will be, when cocktail hour might be, when dinner will be served um, and when the dancing starts. Giving people as much information as possible means that they can relax and enjoy the day um, and you don't get too many questions interrupting your special time. When you're circulating, you wanna be talking about the magical day that you're having, not when's dinner coming next. Give your guests plenty of information and it helps them get organized. There you have it, five top tips for managing your guests. A few do's and don'ts, which will hopefully make your big day extra special and run extra smooth. Please do head over to our Instagram page for much more inspiration, wedding colour ideas and more top tips. Or stay right here for more videos and hints and tips as to how to manage your wedding day. And remember, it's your time to stand out and be proud.